Hello, this is Sonia from Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. Today we're going to continue in my scripture journaling. This is a junk journal which I use to do scripture journaling in. I do different techniques and things like that. And I'm busy with a mini series in this, which is I record the prayers in the Bible. And I was thinking of doing a Christmas entry today, a Christmas prayer. So I'll talk about that later. And then I'm going to, I've chose a piece already because I love the hymn music. It reminds me of Christmas. And this see through vellum and this white piece of the cardstock, which I can just cover with some Christmas pattern paper. So yeah, so this is what we're going to do today. I've got Brave Little Taylor's newest um, collection, which is called Great Tidings. Um, I think it's called Great Titans. I'm not 100% sure, but it's now, it's a newest collection. And this it's these cute little envelopes, which I've already cut out and I folded it up. And then all these type of envelopes and you could put these little cards in there. So I was thinking I'm going to make use of that um, to sort of emphasize the great tidings. I'll see if I'm going to use a prayer today because I was inspired by doing sort of a Christmas entry in this junk journal. Maybe I can find a prayer which is related to Christmas. Otherwise, I'm just going to write down a certain passage which brings, which talks about the great tidings. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. It's, it's got these cute little stamps. It's absolutely adorable. Um, lots of it. There is a few more cutouts which I'm not going to use today. But I will link obviously the, the printables down below. And then I'm going to use this pattern paper which is from Manly Ford. It's called Calm and Bright. I love the background and I thought it would look nice down there, sort of create a Christmas scene. So, But what I first want to do is I want to use some texture paint. I've got this stencil, which is almost in like in a Christmas tree, which is joy, love. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I do it like that, that's better. Joy, love, peace, belief in Christmas. So I want to use the, the texture paint, which I've got just a lo local texture paint from a craft shop here but you can use whatever you want sometimes you can use just um white paint also but i was thinking maybe today you use a little bit of texture paint just to create a nice background so yeah i'm going to put you on fast forward and we're going to put this together okay i'm getting my stencil ready to do um the sort of the texture paint unfortunately i've got bad news i totally destroyed this stencil um, I don't know actually what I did because after I used it, I um, sort of soaked it in lukewarm water. And the moment I put it in there, this whole stencil sort of almost thrumbled up. When I had it in my hands, it felt like sort of a normal stencil of plastic, but obviously it wasn't. It wasn't a very expensive stencil. So um, that's the only reason why I can think of, obviously. But I'm, I don't know how the manufacturer thought about making the stencil because... If you can't clean the stencil with soapy water, what's the point in having it? But anyway, so I had to throw the stencil away. I'm so, so sad because it was really such a nice one um, to use. I love this effect of the Christmas tree and the words that's coming down. So yeah, unfortunately, this will be the last time I'm using it. So, But anyway, now um, it's probably not the end of the world. As you see me doing this, I'm going to tell you about the verses I'm looking at. I'm going to look um, at Mary's sort of praise prayer. We're going to call it a praise prayer. It was more a, a outburst of praise, but obviously it is in the form of a prayer. Because when we talk to Jesus and we praise him, we are praying actually to him. So you can find that in Luke 1 verse 46 till 55. And I'm quickly going to read it to you. And that is after Mary, after Elizabeth came to visit her. So that's when Mary had this outpouring of praise to God. It says, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, the ho and holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. Um, and it is such a beautiful outpouring of, of blessings. And, and Mary just said, this is a humble servant. And I'm actually going through a sort of an Advent devotion from K. Arthur, which is called Jesus, God's Gift of Hope. I got the book um, from a, a friend of mine. And it's such a powerful book. And one of the, um, the entries was the, the, the angel coming to Mary. 
and telling her that C is a favorite one. Um, just to get back to the artwork quickly, um, as you said, I've done now the stenciling and now I'm using these beautiful little envelopes from the Glad Tidings from um, Brave Little Taylor, Taylor just to put on there and then I'm going to fill it with the scripture reading, which I'm going to do now in a minute or yeah write it down and then also on the other side you saw me putting the Mandy Ford beautiful paper so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, also uh, put some stickers I bought last year for my December documenting I've got sort of a box of all my things I used for December daily and um, last year and I've got I had these leftover um, snowflakes which I'm going to put on that vanum paper in a minute but just to get back to my devotion the angel came to Mary and says, um, favorite one. And he gave the message to Mary that she is going to carry the Messiah, the King of Kings inside her. And um, she's going to bear him and, and he's going to be in her womb. And then um, Kai Arthur said, isn't that a wonderful picture of what we also do? We are favored and we carry the Holy Spirit, which we know is God inside us we are the temple of god we've got the holy spirit in us so we are also favored we know we are favored because we chosen god loves us he chose us before the foundation of the world so he favors us enough to to um to host his holy spirit inside and so we are so so privileged to have the holy spirit as our counselor as uh, as our guide as the as giving us wisdom, um, convict us, encourage us of, um, um, in, our, in our walk with, um, with God. So we're so privileged. In the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit came upon people for certain times and for certain purposes. But we have the Holy Spirit in us every day. And we are also favored, just like Mary um, has been a humble servant. She's just was willing to go along and obedient to the, the message that, um, that God has given her or the, the job that God has given her. So in the meantime, you see me use sort of a, a white pen. It's, for, it's called a paint marker. I've been looking for quite a long for a good paint marker um, and or a white pen, a gel pen, and just to write on black or on colored surfaces. But I can't find this. So I bought this paint pen a while ago. I won't say it's it's it, the writing, it's probably not the most comfortable thing to write with, but you can write with it. But um, then I decided to make some paint splashes on that picture of Manny Ford. The effect of some snow falling down. And now I'm using these small little cards that goes into the envelopes that comes with this printable. Just to write this beautiful pouring of praise that Mary had. So yeah, I just want to encourage you that God says to you, you are also favored. You can put your name in there. Sonia, you are favored because I want you to carry the Holy Spirit. I, I want to give you the Holy Spirit. We know the moment when we say, Abba, Father, when we accept Jesus as our Savior, we have the Holy Spirit in us. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot call Abba, Father. So what a wonderful privilege that your body is the temple of God. Your, you, uh, your God is the residence in you. And, and I think that's so important to our conduct, how we're living our life, that we have the Holy God inside us. And that will motivate us to live a holy life. And so you are favored just as Mary carried Jesus in her body. We are carrying the Holy Spirit in our heart. So yeah, I hope that's a message of encouragement. It was a great encouragement me too when I read this devotion. So at the moment, I'm putting these cute little stamps um, on all the little small envelopes. This is such little handy envelopes to use as templates for the future. So it's a really worthwhile um, sort of um, um printable to pick up so i hope you enjoyed this entry if you did like it please give me a like i'd really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you do i do try to do various things like um the scripture journaling i do bible journaling bingo obviously i do normal bible journaling and if you want to hopefully hear good teaching words of encouragement and you like to see how pretty things are put on a and in your Bible, then this is the channel for you. So thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it for your time and you must have a fantastic day. Lots of love.